Hi there, I'm Patrick. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can get started with SDP8 on your personal laptop. We're gonna be covering a few things. First, I'll show you how you can get QNIC Software Center installed on your laptop, which is your one-stop shop for accessing all the QNIC software you need, including the host tools for your operating system, as well as the actual tools that go into the end operating system itself. I'm also gonna be showing you how you can install some of the tools you might use to work with QNX, including how to install Mementix, our Eclipse-based IDE, or our Visual Studio Code extension that you can download in order to take full advantage of QNX with Visual Studio Code. I'll also be showing you how you can get started running QNX right from the command line if that's something you'd like to do as well. The instructions I'll be covering are mainly gonna be based off Ubuntu, but everything that we're covering today, you can do on Windows as well. At that, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the QNX website and access our account that's there. When you're on the website, you can click the top right and go to sign in. And here we're gonna sign in with our MyQNX account. We should have created this account and have our license be assigned to this account. We do have a video that describes this process and we're gonna be starting from the point assuming that you already have a license assigned to your MyQNX account. We're gonna log in in order to access QNX Download Center. And if we scroll down, we should be able to see that we have our license assigned. Now, the first step we wanna do once we've reached here is we wanna install QNIC Software Center. QNIC Software Center is a desktop application that you can run that allows you to download our software development platform, specifically QNIC's SDP8. It also allows you to download some other software packages that are made available with QNIC, including a few open source packages. And it also allows you to download, uh, download the Momentix uh, IDE as well. So, you can download QNIC Software Center just by clicking this button here. And it's gonna give you a page that gives you access to documentation, licensing information, as well as the user's guide up here. What we're gonna do is since we're on a Linux machine, I'm just gonna click download now on the Linux. If you who are using a Windows host, you can follow the similar step, but just by ensuring you download the Windows version instead. So I'm gonna click download for the Linux version. I see that an installation is running. Once it's completed, we can now run this script to install QNIC Software Center right on our machine. To do that, I'll open up a terminal. I'm gonna to navigate to our downloads folder. I can see I've already downloaded one earlier, but what I will do is I will make one of these download scripts first executable. And now I'm gonna run it to install Software Center. So first step here is there's going to be an agreement that you, have to, uh, that you have to read and you have to sign. So please make sure that you review this and understand the legal terms of the license. Once you've done that, you can uh, accept the agreement by, uh, by following the instructions and pressing Y. You now have the option to specify an installation path that you can use. So I'm just gonna use the default path. It's gonna be in my home. It's gonna create a folder called QNX. So now that the folder got created, it's gonna start up QNIC Software Center automatically. We can see that it's popped up here. And the first thing you'll be done is prompting you to put your MyQNX credentials in. So these are the same credentials that we logged in with initially on the website. So this will allow you to tell Software Center which software entitlements you have. So I'm gonna give my Hello World QNX account a sign in. and I'm going to log in. Takes a second to sync up. And uh, once the connection is completed, you'll be able to see that uh, the loading screen is finished. And uh, this is QNIC Software Center. So this allows you to manage your various installations of QNX that you have. Uh, in this case, we're gonna be focusing on QNX SDP8. And I'm gonna show you how you can install SDP8 onto your laptop so you can start working on it. Um, the first step that you'll wanna do here is click the add installation button. So I'll press that. 
And this is going to give you a list of all the pl products that we provide. Um, now, this will just show what we do have, but it, you don't necessarily have access to all of them. The one that we do have is SDP8. So make sure you install the one matching your license. So I'm gonna expand on that and I'm gonna pick software development platform SDP8. And then I'm gonna click next. There's various options here that allow you to tell you where your installation is gonna be added on your machine. Uh, I'm gonna use the QNX 800 folder for uh, QNX SDP8. And there's also a name associated with uh, with the specific release that software is going to be software center is going to be using in order to associate it with that release uh, for the most part the default settings should work just fine so i'm going to use those i'm going to click next next and then there's just a final screen you can click next and then complete the installation since this is my first time doing this on this machine i do need to agree to the development license agreement so please make sure you review that and uh, you read that and accept the terms before proceeding. And now we have the installation that's taking place. Now I can continue to navigate Software Center in the background or continue to work with my machine when this is running, but it should not take too long, not more than a, than a couple minutes. And once that's complete, I will show you what exactly is being installed on your machine whenever you're completing this operation. So at the end of the installation, we're gonna see this wonderful screen here saying that we've successfully installed 174 packages. It's gonna provide you links to various documentation you can use, but we'll be able to access this at other parts within Software Center. So I'm just gonna click close. And what we'll see is we're taken to the uh, software tab and we're gonna see that in the installed field, we can see QNX STP8. If you expand that, you can see what various subcomponents of SDP8 have been installed. QNIX Software Center uses the concept of packages, which is uh, various individual modules can be installed in individual packages and managed at a package level. There's also packages that contain other packages. So this scheme allows us to better manage the delivery of our software and the different versions that we use. But uh, you can choose to expand these however you'd like to see whatever is included in the installation. Um, if you're interested, you can right click on a package and explore the properties and it'll give you a little bit of information about when the package was made, what it's including, as well as what the contents might be. If you click the package contents field, we can see that there's a few libraries that are included. But uh, yeah, Software Center does provide you a little bit of information if you want to explore the contents. So I quickly just want to give you an overview of what QNIX Software Center looks like. There's various different fields on the left that give you different views. The home allows you to see some of the options you have, uh, including managing your installations. And if I click that, that takes us back to our field where you can see which packages are installed. You also have the option to see what's available. And if I click here, you can also expand and you can see that there's some open source packages. Uh, there's various other utilities you can choose to install. Um, you can check out our documentation to see what sort of packages you wanna you want to add. There's also the license key view. We can see that this license key has been activated and that gives us access to the product. One thing I'd also like to show you is what exactly got installed on your system whenever you downloaded SDP8. And to do that, I'm gonna open up a terminal. I'm gonna open up a, a, new, a new terminal. And if I go to my home directory, uh, I installed QNX SDP8 at the QNX 800 folder. And if I open that folder up, I can see that I have a various set of QNX folders in there. I have a couple shell scripts, and then I have a folder called host and a folder called target. The host folder contains the list of host binaries that are included in the software development platform. This means binaries that run on your Linux or Windows development host that allow you to best interact with the QNIX software development platform. The second directory is the target directory, and this contains the list of binaries, libraries, tools, whatever software you might want to end up running on a QNX end target that you will be creating or developing as part of your work with QNX. And then lastly, one of these scripts are, uh, are a script that helps you set up your QNX shell environment. 
If you want to be compiling code directly from the command line, all you need to do is simply source one of these scripts into your environment. And we can see that what this script does is it creates various environment variables for QNX host and QNX target, as well as it tells sets the make flags variable that allows you to help compile your QNX code. So now if I want to do QNX development directly from the command line, I just need to do, I just need to source my environment and then I'm good to go. The next step that I want to show you is how you can install the QNX Momentix IDE. Um, to do that, you can actually download the Momentix IDE directly from Software Center. To do that, we're going to follow the similar step that we did when we wanted to install SDP8. We're going to click Add Installation, and we can actually see that there's an option for the QNX Momentix IDE. I'm going to click that. And what you can do is you can just pick the latest version here. Click next. And QNX Momentix is going to have its own installation directory. Uh, you can just use the default versions here. I'm gonna click next. And then you can continue to follow these steps, the default instructions. And now we're gonna see that Momentix is being installed. So now we can see the message that QNX Momentix has been successfully installed. Um, we can see that if we click the top right here, you can navigate through your various installations. And you can see that we have one specifically for QNX 8. We have one for Momentix. So now what we're going to do is we're going to launch uh, Momentix directly from QNX Software Center. To do that, you just need to go to the home page. Uh, you pick the installation that you're currently in, QNX 800, you make sure you select that, and then you click Launch QNX Momentix IDE. There you want to set up a workspace, so a folder for which you can put your uh, Momentix projects in. I'm going to click that. And this is what Momentix looks like. From this point, you can uh, start to use QNX however you'd like. There's a few options that you can, uh, that you can use. So what I'll do is I'll click create a new project targeting QNX and it's going to give you various options. If I want to just create a hello world file, just a QNX executable, I'm going to pick this one right here, go to next. It's going to prompt me for a few options. So I'm just going to call it hello world. And uh, then it will ask me for various options such as the language I want to use as well as which, which end architectures am I targeting. If I wanted to run this on just a Raspberry Pi, that's only ARCH64, so I might click just that one. I'll click Finish, and now what it's going to do is it's going to create all the initial uh, project folders and files that I need in order to compile and run an executable on whatever platforms I target. And we can see here, we have our starting point, a C program for a Hello World program. I can also see that on the left, we have uh, my Project Explorer, which shows some of the folders and files that have been generated. I can see in the source folder here that hello world.c has been created. I can also see that in the build file, uh, a set of folders have been created in order to compile a version of this program to run on QNX, specifically on an ARCH64 architecture like the Raspberry Pi. Um, from this point, you're free to develop your program however you'd like to compile it and run it. And uh, you're, you now have QNX Momentix installed on your system and you are ready to go. So now I would also like to show you how you can install the QNX extension for VS Code. And this is a toolkit that allows you to access some of the functionality that's previously been restricted to just the Momentix ID you can access it on VS Code if that's what you prefer to use. So you can find documentation on this toolkit just by searching for QNX toolkit for Visual Studio Code. And if you click that first link, you can see our documentation. This will tell you information about how to use some of the features in the toolkit, some of the prerequisites. So please make sure you check out this link. I'm going to click the uh, uh, the uh, this item here, 
because this tells us what the dependencies are. So first you need to have your Visual Studio Code Toolkit installed. Uh, first, you need to install your uh, VS Code on your system. You also need to install a few extensions such as C++. Um, you need to have Java Runtime 17 for some of the tracing and system profiling uh, features that are built into the, into the tool. So I've already installed Visual Studio Code on my target with some of the prerequisites. And I'm just going to show you how you can get the Qnix Toolkit installed. So I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And if I click down here to extensions, I can see that I already installed the C++ extension. To install the QNX extension, you simply need to search for QNX. So I can click the QNX toolkit here. This provides you various information, takes you to the link to the documentation, install all you need to do is click install so once you have this installed you should see on the left that there's a qnix extension that shows up and if i click that you're going to see various options you're going to see the ability to add a connection to a qnix target so if you want to compile code and then automatically transfer that code to the qnix target where you can run it there's set up in order for you to help do that um, there's the option to add a new qnix virtual target so if you want to run a instance of QNX running on a hypervisor directly within your machine, whether it's using VMware or uh, QEMU, you can do that. There's also various settings on the bottom here that is documented in some of the uh, in some of the documentation and the links we talked about earlier. But if you can see this, uh, this field, this QNX field on the left, then the QNX toolkit is installed and you are ready to start your development on VS Code. So at this point, you should have QNX Software Center installed. You should have SDP8 installed on your machine, and you should have whatever preferred tool you want to work with the QNX SDP installed on your system. At this point, you're ready that you can follow our docs, some other, other videos so that you can make best use of your QNX SDP installation. Thank you for watching.